the key to sanding is you want to shift your weight instead of trying to like hike your back. And so you keep the sandpaper here and you want to go in a straight line, increasing pressure this way and then just come back and increase pressure that way. Getting people, one, to take us seriously off the bat had to be very calculated, had to be precise on just like how to deliver this information that people could receive it and not think that this was a joke. Because Africa in snow is, that's jokes. So one, to be able to show people that this is not a game. Like we're actually out for something very special. This is a real thing. We are serious and we want your respect and then earning it. So most of what bobsled is, you learn on the fly. You just get, you get, you know, thrown into this world of winter sports, and then you just learn how to take care and maintain a bobsled. And then you quickly have to figure out that if you want your sled to take care of you, you gotta take care of it. Warmer, but you know, I think I'll survive. It'll be fun once we start racing. Though. I just need to get through one more. This stuff is much harder than people think. The anxiety of racing, it's the the idea of knowing that you have to execute, getting things done at the time, the waiting, you know, those are the things that are like, oh, okay, am I comfortable? Yes, I'm comfortable. Convince yourself for an hour. So basically the energy that we just felt in the room was pure business. Uh, the athletes just like to get prepared. Um, Sean does her mind runs where basically she's visualizing going down each curb on the track. They only have 60 seconds. The main focus is for them to not crash. Everything. I don't really know. I'm just grateful. I just thank God. I was such an instrument on this earth. Oh God.
So what's next basically is we gotta get it, get our weight up, you know, get in the weight room, get get on the track, get our speed together, get on the Mayflower, start hitting and pushing. We've got a little bit of a break before our next race just because um, I'm actually gonna be focusing on graduating. We'll get back after that, get to Lake Placid, start racing in Lake Placid, do our best there as well, and really just start doing everything we need to do to prepare for the game. We're not just here for some like Olympic glory or some, you know, just highlight or flashing lights. Like we're here to show people that you can really get things done if you dedicate everything that you have towards reaching that goal.